Welcome back to News Hub. For today's video, we are going to have a look at the world record of the kebab man who ate tons of kebabs in a small amount of time. A guy named Des Brakey, who lives in Manchester and has been employed as an engineer for the past 36 years, has just completed an astonishing kebabathon in which he ate 124 kebabs over the period of one month. He did this by consuming one kebab on a daily basis for the entirety of the given time period. The kebab competition was held in Manchester, which was its site. His efforts were fruitful in that they were able to raise 1,000 pounds for the Francis House Children's Hospice. Despite this, he was forced to make the choice to put both his bodily and mental health at peril in order to accomplish his goal. Tess started the challenge on December 1 and spent each day of the month seeking wrapped meat dishes by visiting a new kebab shop located in a different section of the city. The restaurants he visited were all located in different neighborhoods. The mission was to discover as many distinct kinds of wrapped beef dishes as was humanly feasible to do. Des would starve himself throughout the day in order to conserve space in his stomach for the kebabs that would make up his evening meal, and he would not consume anything until he sat down to eat supper. He did this so that he could fit more food into his stomach for his evening meal. Des has the ability to consistently consume 4 kebabs in the span of one and a half hours. Regardless of this, the difficulty of the exercise continued to rise as we progressed farther and further into it. Des was experiencing physical exhaustion on a biological level as a direct result of the lack of nutrients that he was getting from the kebabs. This was causing Des to feel fatigued on a physical level. This was the reason for his exhausted state, which was brought on by his physical condition. Because he did not have enough money, his entire body hurt. He had a constant sense of heaviness in his stomach, and he was worn out because he did not have enough energy. In addition, his entire body hurt. From a psychological point of view, there was pressure on him to do the task, and he had the impression that he couldn't let other people down. Moreover, he was concerned about the consequences of not completing the task. To put it another way, he had the impression that he couldn't fail other people. In addition to that, the fact that he was the one who had to blaze his own trail in his hunt for a job added an additional degree of stress to the issue. Despite the countless obstacles that were placed in front of him, Des did not give up. His goals were to raise money for a charitable organization, to prove to himself that he was capable of pushing himself further than he believed he could and to show his loved ones and close friends that he was capable of achieving something truly remarkable. In addition, he wanted to prove to himself that he could push himself further than he believed he could. These goals served as motivation for him to complete the task that was in front of him, so he could go on to the next one. The trip that Des did offered us a great lesson about how essential it is to take care of our mental and emotional well-being in addition to our physical well-being. This is a lesson that we can take away from Des's journey. Even though it may be tempting to overindulge in foods that bring up feelings of familiarity and comfort, it is essential to maintain a balanced diet that contains the right proportions of fruits, vegetables, and other nutritional items. Although it may be tempting to overindulge in foods that bring up these feelings, it is essential to do so. Even while it may be easy to overindulge in meals that bring up these feelings, it is important to remember that this is the case even if it may be tempting to do so. There is a possibility that our overall health will suffer as a direct result of our consumption of an unusually large quantity of any one category of food. During the time that Des was trying to figure out how to solve the problem, he owed it to himself to maintain a sound mental state so that he could do the best job possible. While he was attending to it, he was formulating solutions to the problem. He was under a lot of pressure to do well, but he was unable to exert any control over the situations that he found himself in, which added to the stress that he was already experiencing. 
Despite the fact that he was under a lot of pressure to do well, he was unable to exert any control over the situations that he found himself in. This serves as a useful reminder that there are times when it is essential to take a step back and look at the problem from a new perspective. Getting some distance from the problem and examining it from a fresh perspective might prove to be extremely useful. When trying to discover a solution to a problem in a number of different scenarios, it might be helpful to take a step back, clear your head, and look at the problem from a different angle. It is essential that we have the ability to recognize when we are having sensations of being overwhelmed, and that when we do recognize that we are having these sensations of being overwhelmed, we immediately take the actions that are necessary to lighten the burden and improve our mental state. It is also essential that we have the ability to recognize when we are feeling overwhelmed. It is of the utmost importance that we are able to detect when we are feeling overwhelmed and that once we have made this recognition, we immediately take the steps necessary to lessen this emotion. Once we have made this recognition, it is also of the utmost importance that we are able to recognize when we are feeling overwhelmed. Even though Des's quest has come to an end, he is already looking forward to his next kebab adventure, which he has planned and scheduled to take place the weekend after this one. His next kebab adventure will involve going to a restaurant that specializes in kebabs. Des's voyage has come to an end, but it hasn't stopped him from looking forward to the next kebab adventure he will go on. It's likely that the way he lived his life may educate all of us about the value of preserving a healthy equilibrium between the many elements of our own lives, and that's something we can all learn from him. We hope you enjoyed the video, but now that it's over, what did you think? Do you still crave a kebab? Leave your comments down below, and don't forget to hit that like button. Also. Click subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more from us in the future.